Hello, hello, and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida. I'm your host, Mr. D. So, hey, let's get this thing in the water. Now, a word from our sponsor. Cast Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting-edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll-free at 866-262-9076. Hello, and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida Adventures. I'm your host, Mr. Lee. Hey, if you see out here, we got a close sign up. But they have a herding, a deer herding issue. Uh, apparently, there's some deer out here in Manatee Springs that are kind of sickly, so they've asked the state to come out. So they closed the park until 10 a.m. this morning, so and that's okay. Uh, we'll just get out, paddle a little late. Um, but anyway, we are out here today, and we're going to paddle uh, Manatee Springs uh, and that also sides with the Suwannee River. Now I was out here yesterday I got all the footage down saw some manatee out in the water. I am so hoping that uh, I'll get a couple manatees under the boat. Water is clear. Last time I was here about three years ago it was after a big huge storm and it really tore things up bad. Uh, so the water was murky and nasty and ugly. Uh, now it is crystal clear what I was expecting. A friend of mine asked me to go back out and give Manatee Springs another review. So that's why I'm out here today. And then tomorrow, guys, we're going to be heading out to Dunellen and we'll be uh, paddling uh, up from KP Hole up to the Head Springs at uh, Rainbow Springs State Park. Uh, and that's one of the only places in Florida that has waterfall. And we're going to try to get some shots of that tomorrow and uh and today maybe it depends on how fast we get out of here so anyway hey let's get this thing in the water Well, hey guys, we are down here right at the uh, the area where the manatee are, and I was talking with the rangers over here. Uh, they actually pointed out the manatee uh, that are here, and the water is clear. And I, I'm so pleased, because the last time I was here, it was cloudy, it was like 34 degrees or some ridiculous cold, and, uh, and the water was like mud. I guess Georgia had some big rains or something, storms, and it ran run into the uh, the Suwannee River which dumps into here so it churned up everything and made everything like a chocolate brown it was just ugly nasty so this water is crystal uh, I'll have you take a look here now there are manatee uh, here I just saw one a little while ago now they used to have a concession here uh, this is it over there but I understand that the uh, contract ran out for that concession and no one has picked that up. So there is no concession anymore, uh, unfortunately. But we're gonna go over to the patio area anyway and uh, check all that out and see what's going on. They have the swimming area is uh, down over here. Uh, there's no way I'd get in this water, it's too cold. But I mean, they got swimmers in the, in the uh, swimming area right now. But the manatee are in. They said they've been here for about three weeks now. Because you gotta time them. It's all based on uh, water temperature and all that kind of stuff like that, so.
Well guys, what we're doing now, we are at the end of the boardwalk and uh, we are coming up to the infamous Swanee River. Uh, this thing will kick your butt in a kayak unless you are definitely going downstream the whole time. Uh, it is really, really, really uh, rough current. Uh, I've paddled this before and I go around, go around that island over here and paddle upstream a little bit and come back down and come back into the uh, Manatee Springs Cove. And it's really, really cool. And I normally paddle down into the Manatee Spring Cove, which is right over here. And you can see all the buzzards up in the trees and, and it, look at this. All right, anyway, guys, hey, we are out here at uh, Manatee Springs. Uh, we got in the water really late because they had the state coming in doing some checking on a uh, some kind of a deer herd issue had to do with health and stuff like that. And then I got on the water and I saw a beautiful manatee. And unfortunately, I woke him up and he went into the protected area. So I'm hoping I got the camera set up for underwater. I'm hoping that one of these guys will come back out. I don't know, I may have upset him. Uh, but he was just sleeping. <laughs> and then the current kind of pulled me out towards the Swanee and that's what woke him up, I guess. But it is a beautiful day. The waters are crystal clear, uh, which is really, really awesome. Um, this will be a short paddle because of the length change and I've got travel today. Uh, so I'm gonna go from the protected area out to the Swanee and uh, and then come back in that's not a very long paddle but I lost two hours today and I've got travel involved so that's basically what I'm gonna do so anyway hey guys uh, enjoy uh, we'll be back in a bit <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're going to paddle around and uh, check a few things out. And see. Anyway, uh, we are out on the Swanee right now, and we were testing uh, the other pair of video glasses I just purchased. And this is number four. Uh, different manufacturers. And <laughs> Yesterday, they worked fine. Uh, today, not so fine. Man, I got fish all around me or something. I mean, they are all over the place. I don't know if it's manatee or... Don't know. Anyway, uh, I just now put these on. I was over the top of a sleeping manatee recording that, I thought, through the uh, video glasses. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that wasn't the case. As I was doing some narration, I said, well, let me pull them off, see what they're doing. And they were, both blue lights were off. Uh, so I turned it back on. And... It did what it was supposed to do, and then all of a sudden, both blue lights started flashing real fast, and then it would shut off. So, believe it or not, these failed also. Uh, and I had a beautiful shot of a sleeping manatee and all that, I thought, and now I've got nothing. I thought the card was not placed right, so I pulled it out, put it back in. Uh, 
does the same thing so these are going back and I'm, I'm over it I'm never gonna order a set of video glasses again uh, I view failed miserably I couldn't get them to mount on uh, on either my Windows computer or the uh, uh, iMac and uh, because that has internal memory so the, the it would turn on vibrate do everything it was supposed to do but for some reason the hard drive would not mount on either Windows or Macintosh and it's supposed to be for both and that was a 4k version it's supposed to be the best uh, $200 pair of glasses so needless to say uh, I'm, I'm over this I'm just I'm over it I'm very disappointed so anyway we're gonna get back to our paddle dice because I don't want it to discourage uh, what I'm doing out here today again we are at Manatee Springs State Park and uh, it's beautiful um, I was hoping to catch that manatee shot I have the camera ready right now the underwater camera if I see a manatee further down uh, into the springs area then I'll turn it upside down and maybe get some footage that way uh, I wanted to use the video uh, glasses for that type of stuff where I could shoot straight across the water but that didn't happen so anyway uh, enjoy we'll be back in a bit well guys I'm out here on the Swanee now and uh, it won't be long we'll be wrapping this one up because uh, again this is a very short paddle if you just want to stay in the Manatee Spring area but if you want to jump out onto the uh, Swanee now I'm really surprised that the current isn't as strong as the Swanee normally is I mean normally this thing will just you'll be flying uh, I'm actually on the Swanee right now and not getting pushed around and it's it's really kind of nice I've never experienced that on the Swanee before um, it is a nice paddle uh, if you guys want to do the Swanee I would recommend that you set yourself up a uh, shuttle and go down as far as you want to go and then have your second vehicle down there and pick it up and come back to the launch site if you want to launch from uh, Manatee Springs it's actually a pretty good place to launch uh, now the launch itself uh, they have an unload area but you still gonna have to cart your kayak it's still a pretty good jaunt to get um, get there but it's not that bad um, it's just getting from the launch or the drop-off point and then parking your car up in the upper parking lot uh, that's a pretty good walk uh, not crazy but it's a, it's a pretty good walk uh, it's not like what I'm used to where I'm you know 100 feet away from the launch here I'm probably 300 yards uh, which is still not bad but you know and if you've got your camera gear all set up in your boat and stuff like that and you're leaving your boat to take your your cart back to your vehicle uh, that's where you want to strap your your uh, cart down and in my case it makes it difficult because I normally have a camera mounted in the back um, I haven't yet uh, tried to disassemble the sea tug and put it in the nose I might be able to do that I'm not really sure uh, but uh, here nor there today I just took it back up uh, put it in my car and then drove up to the parking lot and then came back down so it was all good so anyway guys uh, we're gonna continue our paddle I hope you enjoy this uh, I'm a little I'm a little let down because of the video glass fail uh, I, like I said I've spent the last now four weeks trying to find a, uh, a dependable uh, video camera glasses and have been very unsuccessful struck out multiple times and this last one I mean they worked great first three days uh, I was just doing some short testing in fact I, re I recorded uh, some of the clips from that uh, yesterday from that video glasses now today they just shut down on me and I'm gonna do some troubleshooting and see if, uh, if I don't think the battery's down because I charged them last night uh, the only thing I can figure well it has an automatic shutoff so you know I really don't know and so uh, I'm gonna troubleshoot that tonight at the hotel room at my next location uh, again we're going out to a Rainbow Springs uh, KP hole and then go paddle up to the head springs uh, I've been on the Rainbow River before but I've never paddled up to the head springs so that's what the adventure is for that particular uh, run 
So anyway, we're gonna uh, go ahead and start heading back in now. And then we'll wrap this thing up and uh, hey, we'll be back with you in a minute. Scared me. That was amazing. Hi guys, we're gonna wrap it up out here at Manatee Springs. Uh, we had manatee all underneath the boat. They were very curious, they came up to the boat. Uh, I got a, a little bit of footage underwater and uh, some still shots uh, using the floating tripod. Uh, it was really, really, really a lot of fun. Uh, there, I got one right in front of me right now. But anyway, I had a whole family underneath the boat and uh, the little one was real curious, came right up to the craft. I got some great shots underwater and on top. Uh, so you guys should enjoy the heck out of that. So anyway, we're gonna wrap it up for this episode. We'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, you know, once in a while I find a spot that is absolutely fabulous as far as a restaurant. I love mom and pop shops and this place was recommended to me. This is Brett's Big T. Uh, this restaurant here used to be a truck stop. And uh, I went in there and they told me that the food is going to be down home cooking. They did not lie. I just had one of the best breakfast. And cost effective? Oh yeah. They filled your plate up. Uh, the, the food was excellent. They had everything you needed right on the table. I mean, natural preserves in, in little cups and I mean, all this stuff. And this is a mom and pop shop. Uh, this is where all the locals come to have their breakfast. Ain't no doubt about that. So hey, if you're in the Chiefland area, this is a must stop. Stop by Brett's Big T. Uh, you can't go wrong. So, hey.